Hey guys, so the daily heroic for September 23rd is Lost to Light. It's the mission where you need to eventually escape the Hellmouth because you get chased down by the Taken. Well, thanks to tackiest Taco on Reddit and his quote amazing and idiotic friend, they discovered a shiny new weapon waiting for them at the end of this mission called Black Spindle. How do you get such a weapon? Well, when you get to the part where you need to plant three orbs into the door lock, instead make a turn to where you would normally go if you were doing the Shadow Thief strike up those stairs. You gotta be quick though, and you need to make sure to not die. I've had people report that if you are not quick enough to the door up to the Fallen Catch, or if you die, that the door will be locked and that you'll have to start over. Anyway, once you get upstairs, take the teleporter up and all that jazz, and you will trigger a timed event. You have 10 minutes to clear out all of the Taken from where the event starts all the way to the room where you fight Tanix. And let me tell you, this is rough. If you are solo, you are going to have a very difficult time. Even with a team of three, it is going to be very difficult. Literally every single Taken enemy in each area needs to die before you can progress. My biggest piece of advice is to kill those floating orbs. They are the things that summon more Taken enemies, so if you shut those down early, you'll be able to make up some ground. They will eventually respawn though if you're moving too slow, so keep eyes on them. In the first room, try to snipe down the knights with a solar sniper. They are tough. Kill the two floating orbs as soon as possible. In the connector to the second room, you're going to get pincered by Taken from both sides. Back up and kill as needed. There will be a Taken Captain, so watch out for that blinding orb. In the Walker Room, prioritize the Wizards if possible. They spawn Shadow Thrall non-stop, which are all incredibly obnoxious, so anything you can do to get rid of them as soon as possible is going to be beneficial. Then deal with the orbs and the snipers up on the top ledge. In the Tanix Room, well, you're not going to have much space to move around because this room is a nightmare. I would say try to kill the floating orbs, but there's just so much going on that it's really tough to gain any ground. We killed the boss and then eventually moved up to wipe out everything else. That's another thing, you cannot just kill the boss and expect to be done. You need to kill everything, otherwise it will not count. If you are successful, you will be gifted with Black Spindle, which is literally Black Hammer, except now it is exotic and updated for year 2, although it does have the adjusted white nail perk where it pulls from your reserves as opposed to out of thin air. Still, it is a great sniper in general and will be incredibly useful for something like Golgoroth. You also score some legendary marks and the possibility of a ship. I was not lucky enough to get the ship though. One more thing is that I don't know if this is only available when this mission is the Daily Heroic, or if it is available at any time. If you can get it done when it is the Daily Heroic, well, that's probably for the best. Gather a group, because trying this solo is incredibly difficult. Also makes you wonder what other missions might have any secrets waiting for us. I'll play the gameplay of the final room so you guys can see how crazy it gets. Admittedly, I did play like a moron for a little bit since I was trying out my new exotic sword, but we got it done. Thanks for watching, and good luck.
not rest. We'll claim every house, consume every banner. You must stand, Guardian. Yes, or all shall fall. 